Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video where today I'll be talking about the Soviet AA-20, also known as Andreev. Built in 1934 by the Vorozhilo... Come on. Come on mate, you can do this. Vorozhilovgrad locomotive factory, I'm just gonna assume that I said it right. The AA-20-1, nicknamed Andreev after its sponsor Andrei Andreev, was a massive engine of 33,730 mm or 110.66 feet in length and is the only steam locomotive with a 4 Dash 14 dash 4 wheel arrangement. Also, because I don't want to say constantly AA20, I'll just call it Andreev, okay? Andreev holds two records the largest number of coupled axes on a locomotive and being the longest rigid frame locomotive in Europe. It was also the largest rigid frame locomotive in the world up until 1939 when the PRRS1 was unveiled. Andreev was originally intended to be a 2-14-4 wheel arrangement locomotive. Construction was cheaply undertaken in Essen, Germany by Krupp following a Soviet design. Later the unfinished locomotive was moved to Lugansk. Lugansk? Lugansk? I probably said that wrong again, didn't I? where a two-axle leading truck was fitted. The training truck supported a huge firebox. Andreev was intended to run on low-quality coal, so a lot of space was needed to burn it in, in order to provide enough heat to the boiler. The large number of driving axles were meant to spread out the locomotive's weight, reducing the axle load and resulting stress on the track. After this, they obviously started experimenting with the locomotive, and they realized it's a complete and total failure. Because here's the thing what I didn't mention yet, okay? Andreev was essentially the result of a bunch of Soviet railway engineers going to the United States and seeing the 4-12-2 locomotives being used by the Union Pacific and they were like, you know what? We can do better than that. Yeah, they couldn't. It couldn't even pass through switches. Or corners for that matter. Yep, this engine was so big and heavy, it couldn't even pass corners without derailing or heavily damaging them. And that's only the tip of the failure iceberg. It was too big to fit on the turntables, too powerful for the couplers used at the time, and unable to run at full power for very long due to the poor grade coal being insufficient to provide full steam capacity for the massive boiler. So yeah. It was not that successful. Anyways, after a lot of testing, they essentially did a press slash publicity trip with the locomotive to Moscow. And after that, it basically got locked up into some random warehouse and it got scrapped in the 1960s. Although Andreev was a massive failure, both literally and figuratively, it will always be remembered and loved as one of the magnificent weird trains. I also just want to apologize to the entirety of Russia for my Russian pronunciations. Look, I'm I'm struggling with my own language, my own native language. Do you really think I'll be able to pronounce damn Russian? Hi everyone who's still around. I just wanted to thank you guys for... I think that video now is like 11k views. Hell, it might even be 12k views at this point. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching that video. I never expected one of my videos to blow up that much. And yes, I did. I, I would have preferred if it was a video I put a bit more effort into it, like one of my earlier Weird Trains videos. But still, I'm, I'm very grateful and very happy that you guys like watched the video. And also, thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, that's all I really want to say, so thank you guys, and till next video, goodbye.